Since this issue started, it is like men have conspired to bring down an innocent, beautiful woman, the MD, for caps. Senator, Senator Siena. Chair, looking at the presentations that have been made in this committee and to this committee, Senator Bain. the CS of agriculture is not no, no, clean. Order, chair. Senator, chair, Senator, the CS Senator of Bain. agriculture Senator is not clean. Senator Bain, he has conspired. No, no, order, How Senator, was the tendering process done, Se chair? Senator Bain, Siengo. Hey, Senator Let Bain, Siengo. me finish, Chair. Senator Bain, Siengo, you know, as, as much as I'm protecting you, I think uh, yeah, you should desist from going that path for now. For now. I know you are the women president, but uh, Senator, Senator, Senator Chute of Masa Beti out of Wanda. Chair, allow me to finish. You don't know our... Senator Beth Siengo, please let's go the matters uh, <laughs> which concern the fake fertilizer. Chair, I'm saying that order, looking chair. of the processes that are done, Government has processes, order, tendering processes, then the distribution order, processes, chair. the institution, the government agencies involved order, in chair. this. There are specific men who conspire to make money out of this Point process order, to this rob Kenyans, to rob Kenyans. Yes. And now they are throwing the mess to this girl. Uh, no, no, they are no, throwing no, the no, mess no, to the no, MD of CAPS. Chair, this is not allowed. Senator Betsiengo, there is a point of order from Senator who was in the issue. Kebs has already pronounced itself on that product that appears on page 61 and 62 of their document. It is not fertilizer. It is not fake. It is not substandard. It is something. It is not fertilizer. So, so let's not even discuss that product that is being sold by SBL through NCPB as fertilizer because it is not fertilizer. So that we are procedural chair. So if anybody wants to ask anything about SBL product, then they should give us a name for it because it is not fertilizer. We are here to deal with the fertilizer issue in this country. I thank you. Uh, Senator Mondegi. And it's a point of honor regarding... Yes. Yeah. Chairperson, kuna mambo nataka nisungumize kidogo tukiendelea. Ningeomba deputy majority ni friend of the this committee. Lakini ningeomba atupe nafasi aondoke kwa hii kamati kwa sababu tunajua kuna interest fulani. Mimi najua CPK si CPK ile iko iko kule tunajua tunasikia point of order chair yes senator mudegi senator mudegi point of order point of order chair jojo point of order chair yes senator mandago um honorable chair is i am rising understanding on the number 105 on responsibility of statement of fact can senator mundigi table before this committee evidence that the senator for Nakuru has interest. That is imputing improper motive on an honorable member of this house. Nikipatiwa time, nitarete evidence, CPK, ambaye niamutu wa hito kariuki, na jorona hii anaeti hapa, nitarete. Senator Mondegi, utakachi ni ukifata, ukipata ushaindi, utaleta wakatu, utasikizu wakatika kamati. Okay, maybe I can... Kwa sasa, Senator Keroche, nendelea umarizie. I finish. Uh, also what I'm saying, I mean, what I'm really driving at, it is Kenya Bureau, you have your capacity, whatever capacity you have. But our natural resource of diatomite, it distributes other things, many other things, many other things from the Nakuru County. So that's why now we should say it is not fertilizer, we agree it's not fertilizer, whatever you are saying, but we should not condemn we should think on how we will support the manufacturing of the diatomite. The they do many other things. And I'm sure when you go to the market, you see. So that we don't use the media and whatever they purported Senator. that in Udongo. It is not Udongo. It is a natural resource called diasmesia that Senator produces Keroche. many other things. Senator Keroche. And among them is one of the fertilizer silica. Thank you. Senator Keroche, and uh, now you are finished, I will not give that uh, point of honor to Honorable Matinga. 
you see we have fertilizer and animal food stuffs act which is very clear and it and I'll, I'll proceed and read what is fertilizer according to the kenyan law so that we don't keep on going it's we're gonna call it what fertilizer means any substance or mixture of substances which is intended or often for improving or maintaining the growth of plants or the productivity of the soil, but it does not include, underline, manure. So any fertilizer, when they have manure, it's not fertilizer. Compost, wood ash. <laughs> Senator, I think you're out of wonder. The chair is on the mic. Gypsum, or refuse when sold in its original condition and under the same name. Nor does it include organic fertilizers other than lime. So if it's lime, it's fertilizer. If it's something else, either organic or not, it's not fertilizer as per the law. So, and I think that's where I am, so that I can give Senator Beth Siengo to ask a question, then I'll give the chance to Senator Mondege. Senator Mandago, then we can go because we have other stakeholders with us today. And I want to promise that I have uh, uh, with this committee, which is a very ge generous committee, made of farmers, will be offering lunch to everyone. So there is no reason for panicking. So, because I think we have a long day. So we will, you, will, you will have something to eat on that. So, Senator Beth Yango. Thank you, Chair. And allow me to declare that I'm the only woman in the Agriculture Committee. And for this matter, I've been listening since we started. Chair, I would refer the MD and the team to page 11 on an issue of surveillance. And mine will be kind of an device that Madam MD kindly advise your team to be contacting periodic surveillance. If you could have been doing it, your mark of quality could not, could not have been used by criminals to do their business. Chair, on the same breath, what I'm getting out of this old saga of fake fertilizer is that men have conspired in this nation Point of order, share. Do Point of order, share. Uh, Senator Silva, can you proceed? You are your uh, time to uh, speak. Order, allow share. me to speak. Point, chair. Can, uh, you are not Senator, going to allow it to be made. Senator no. of Mama Mary, Mary allow not. me to speak. It's it my about, time. I'm a is, member of this it committee. It is not about men. Uh, it is not gendered. Senator Chair, Mama don't even Silva. listen to know what I'm saying. Chair. Senator, it is not gender. Listen, you, I finish. I am the one in charge. Yes. Point of order, share. So. Senator Matinga, point of order, your point of order has been denied. Proceed, Senator. Thank Senator. you, Chair. Thank you for protecting me, the girl child. I want to say, Chair, that following this story since it is started, by the way, I'm the ODM Women League president, and I protect all women in this nation. How is that related to fertilizer? Chair, my point was, since this issue started, it is like men have conspired to bring down an innocent, beautiful woman, the MD, for caps. Senator, Senator Sien. Chair, looking at the presentations that have been meant in this committee and to this committee, Senator ben. the CS of agriculture is not Point clean. Order, chair. Senator, chair, Senator, the CS Senator of ben. agriculture Senator ben. is not clean. Senator ben, he has conspired. Order, How Senator, was the tendering process uh, done? Se chair. Senator Ben Siango. Hey, Senator Let ben me Siengo. finish, Chair. Senator Ben Siango, you know, as, as much as I'm protecting you, I think uh, yeah, you should desist from going that path for now. For now. I know you are the women president, but uh, Senator, Senator, Senator Chute of Masa Beti out of honor. Chair, allow me to finish. You don't know our Senator Beth Siengo, please let's go to the matters uh, <laughs> which concern the fake fertilizer. 
Chair, I'm saying that order, looking chair. of the processes that are done, government has processes, order, tendering processes, then the distribution order, processes, chair. the institution, the government agencies involved order, in chair. this. There are specific men who conspire to make money out of this Point process order, to, these rob Kenyans, to rob Kenyans. And now they are throwing the mess to this girl. Uh, no, no, they are no, throwing no, the to mess order. to the MD Senate, of CAPS. Chair, this is not Senator allowed. Senator Betsiengo, there is a point of order from Senator uh, who has an issue. Thank you very much, Honorable Chair. Honorable Chair, the proceedings of this committee are governed by the standing orders of the Senate. Standing Order 105 is very clear. That every member who makes submissions to this committee or the House, Honorable, Speak, Honorable Chair, must be responsible for the facts. Honorable Chair, Standing Order 105, the Honorable Senator Betty Shengo should provide evidence to this House that there is a conspiracy by men to bring down women. Honorable Chair, we cannot sexualize every other statement that comes to this House. These committees investigating a very, very serious matter that borders on economic crime. The responsibility of CAPS cannot be underestimated in unraveling the challenges. The losses that are going to be occasioned to this uh, country, Honorable Chair, by this fake fertilizer scam and all its that uh, go with it, is a very serious matter. I represent a county whose economy is entirely dependent on agriculture. Therefore, to trivialize the matter of fertilizer into a, a, a matter of men and women is not in order. Can she substantiate or provide evidence, failure to which she should withdraw that statement? Chair, please. Uh, Senator Wambua. Um, Chair, we started off very well, and I believe you are doing well. Um, my appeal to my colleague, my, my dear sister, Beth. The issue that we're dealing with, as Senator Madagwa said, is, is actually an issue that borders on national security, not just food security. It is an issue that, because we are almost establishing that it's, it's a cartel, you know, there is it's a chain of people involved in a deliberate attempt to sell fake things for reasons only best known to them. I think the speaker, uh, on a chair, Mr. Chairman, I would really, really request my colleague, my friend, my sister, uh, to, to step down from that route of, of men conspiring to sacrifice a woman. Because, because then that, that becomes a different conversation. Um, I do believe that in this chain, in this chain, there, there will be women who, who will be found in this chain of people selling these fake things. But this is, in my view, this is, and because I'm a man, and, and I want to declare it here, that when she came in, I did not just see a woman who has walked in. I saw the MD of cabs, the person responsible for the quality of standards or whatever it is that I consume in this country. The chairman, I, I really plead, but if not possible, then I've just made my plea. I thank you. Chair, hey, I can't. Chair, thank you. Actually, I've sat here and listened to the responses the MD of CAPS was giving. She, is not, she was not aware of what was happening. And so that's why I'm saying, when the CS for Agriculture denies involvement in this saga, even dilutes the argument and the evidence that has been given and says that it is not fake fertilizer, it is substandard. What does that mean? Men have made money, they are cartels, and they want to bring down a woman because Senator, she is Senator, at the helm of Senator an organization. Siengo. Senator Siengo. 
inaonekana unataka kufanya maisha yangu magumu magumu kama mwenye kitu ika mate tafadhali senita siengo tusiende hiyo njia tunaelewa uchungu wako lakini usiende hiyo njia kwa hivyo hiyo maneno ambayo umesema imesikiwa tutafikisha hapo nipatie senita mondege nafasi alafu senita mandago aweze tuweze kumalizana na kebs kwanza let them be answerable chair let the men involved hey, this yeah, yeah. cartel wait, 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 wait. senita siengo tafadhali uh, your time is up senita mondege chair eh swali so langu ni kwa madam ngare na pia naunga mkono vile Seneta Siengo anasema ningeuliza madam ngare kulingana hii upelezi tunafanya hapa tumeelewa ni kama eh, hii mambo ni kama au kuelewa vizuri ningeomba wakati ulipatiwa kiti ya kuangalia hizi vitu mambo ya kebs kuna wakati hata mmoja uliweza kuambia serikali ama kuandikia proposal kwa sababu tunajua vinendamu ni yule mmoja tu walikuwa na Yesu kama Judas. E, uri, una, kuna siku hata mmoja uliandikia serikali ukambia kila uh, kamboni ambayo umepatia parua kama una kidhibitisho ya kuwa kitengeneza bidhaa kama uh, fertilizer, kama manji, kama sonda pale kwa mashini kunirue machini ambaye ni ya kupima. Ndio wakati wale mwenye kamboni atatemba na ile kitu tunjue kitu ni feki ama sio feki. Kwa sababu vile tunaona kunaweza kuwa ni vitu nyingi sana simekuwa sikitengenezwa na ndio naona kuko na ugonjwa ya kumwa na tumbo na ya kanza. Kuna wakati kama hiyo kuisaandikia serikali iku facilitate ya vitu kama hizo ya kuwa kila kamboni inaweza kuwa na kidhitisho chake ya kuangalia kazi gani inafanywa kwa sababu mimi naunga mandamu mpedi mkono ni kama hakuna vitu kama hizo katika serikali yetu ya Kenya asanti bwana speak bwana sia person um madam md uh, thank you thank you chair honorable members i would want to start by responding to the question by um honorable uh, senator tabitha uh, and her question was uh, on how sure are we of the products that we are consuming and why SBL continue to supply products for over a period of time. And I want to bring these uh, members to the contract that was signed between NCPB and SBL in 2022, March. It is not in my documentation, but I know it was presented by agriculture. And in that contract, which was signed on 31st of March 2022 had three products in it. Among the three products that um, NCPB entered into a contract to supply Kenyans with was 51 Capital Animal Supplement, GPC Guard, and Artomaceous. I want to confirm to this committee that these three products had not been certified by CABS they were being supplied through NCPB and they had not been certified. And in the same contract, under part two where it is written quality, it is written the principal assures the agent that it shall deliver to the both designated regions, depots, and silos products meeting the Kenya Bureau of Standards. This was never done. These products were being supplied through not normal means of supplying products to Kenyans. These are not normal markets. It is through the agency and through National Cereals uh, and Produce Board. Those, these, these products were being supplied and they, had not, they didn't have the mark of quality. And no verification was done. And these products which were being supplied as diatomaceous, I have copies of delivery notes by 51 Capital and on the uh, on the delivery notes, it's written GPC diatomaceous fertilizer. This was not fertilizer. So what I want to say is that whatever was being supplied through NCPB was not certified by CABS. And that is the same thing that continued. When now GPC came to us in January 2023, they got the, the uh, permit for GPC organic fertilizer. They changed the brand name, they started calling it GPC Plus Fertilizer. They packed different product and they continued supplying through the same means. So we are not responsible 
for what NCPB has been supplying to Kenyans. KEBS is not responsible. I think that's, that's very clear. That's very clear, members. Um, continue, Bona MD, Madam MD. On, on the issue uh, that has been asked by uh, Senator Mudigi on how we do our work and how we control the use of the mark, the Standards Act is very clear and it guides us on how we are supposed to do. The capacity of a regulator, when we give the mark to a manufacturer, and this time I want to use the Kel chemicals because they are here, they came to us in January 2024 and they applied for the mark, for the use of the standards mark. Yes, we gave the mark, we, were, we checked their factory, they were producing the product, we picked samples, we tested, they met the, the Kenyan standard. And we gave the mark for NPK, for the three products. What happened after that? When they continued supplying to NCPB, they changed the formulation of the product they were supplying. What they do, in their factories, under those closed doors, we cannot be in control. We can only assure for the products that we have tested and we have used scientific method to say it is either fake or it is substandard. We cannot take responsibility for a manufacturer who deviates from, use, from producing what we have certified them to produce. I submit. You wanted to ask a follow-up question on that? Senator Modigi? You okay? All right. So we go to Senator Madak. Ah, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Chair. Um, my question to, to Kebs is um, you have regional offices, and I'm aware you have an office in my county in Eldridge. you require of those offices to make um, inspection visits around the areas of jurisdiction? And if they do, what are the reports that they have submitted um, in the, within the last six months from that place? Because one of the companies um, in question is a manufacturer in that county, and they are less than 10 kilometers from the office of CAPS in Eldred. Number two, uh, Honorable Chair, from when this matter was highlighted, as caps, have you tested, have you then tested uh, all the fertilizer or samples or sampled the fertilizers that are being distributed, not just the ones being supplied as subsidized fertilizer? Because one of the things that we must understand in the country is that not all farmers are actually using the subsidized uh, fertilizer. There are farmers who go to buy from the shops because of the current situation we are in uh, in the country. Have you sampled fertilizers from all the suppliers and to test or certain to make sure that farmers uh, are using the product uh, uh, that is certified and, and should be used? Uh, and finally, Chair, yeah, without taking us back, uh, the MD for CAPS is a qualified MD for CAPS through competitive recruitment. It undermines the position of women in this country. If women would continue to say, because so and so is a woman, this lady competed with men and unfairly and squarely in a board that also men sat, found it fit as a professional with experience. It therefore undermines her position if uh, her position is trivialized so that it is seen that she was given to serve as MD camps because she's a woman. That was not a consideration. It was a competitive interview. She qualified. And that is why she's an MD. That's so I want to dissuade women from uh, undermining fellow women. In fact, no wonder they say the enemies of women are fellow women. Uh, Thank you, let's, let's, let's not go there. Let, uh, members, members, I plead with you. Members, I plead with you. I plead with you. Let's remain relevant to the issues that we have here. These are serious issues and Kenyans are watching. Let's, let's not go there. Let's just not go there. Please. So... 
Madam MD, what I'll do is that I'll give each member an opportunity uh, to ask the final question and a comment, and you take all of them in your closing remarks. Is that okay? So we'll start with uh, Senator Beth Shiango going round. Chair, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Um, as the Senate Committee on Agriculture, our concern is to make sure that Kenyans are served and served well. I will only urge CAPS to do their duty diligently. But when it comes to people throwing mud at you, it is on this issue, not about women. But on this issue, you are not aware of what was happening just from your submissions. And so, I would say, all those involved in robbing Kenyans must be brought to book. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thank you, uh, Senator Beth. Uh, let's go to Senator uh, Tabitha. Mm -hmm. I also want to maybe to take this opportunity to congratulate CAPS for the good work they are doing in this country. Just to ask them to remain, uh, I mean, work independently because the whole of Kenyans rely on you and quality of whatever they consume. And then ensure you work closely with the manufacturers to ensure that they perfect whatever they, they did yesterday becomes better today and looking forward to having many manufacturers in this country of ours. Let's not use politics, don't be guided on politics, act on politics, ensure that you remain independent on whatever you are doing, because Kenya will depend, for Kenya to grow, it is about how many manufacturers we build in a year. But you should not join the people to condemn any small manufacturer just work closely with them to ensure they grow to the multinational that we see across the world. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you, Senator Atabida. Senator Modi. Shia Pasoni Swalangu Tu Nire Madam Gali Amenjipu Mambo Yafiri Rifanyika Ni au kujipu kapisa kusema kama sasa tumiona fire kunaenda. Eh, kama ni wewe unaweza kutusaidia ama kusaidia serikali na muna gani. Ndiyo hii mambo iwe aitaweza kufanyika tena. Kwa sasa tumelewa kamboni singine siko na stamp, eh, na singine asina, na pia unaona muko wachache, hakuna wafanyikazi, na pia unajua tumesema vinandamu ni ule mmoja, eh, hii mambo ndiyo isikuja kufanyika tena. Uh, ungetaka senate ama serikali itakusaidia na muna gani kwa sababu hii ni kitu serious unaona pile kunaendelea msigo inaweza kuja ni kama wewe na unaonekana hakuna mahali unaingilia na hii maneno asante chia paswa uh, thank you uh, senator mudigi uh, senator chuta thank you very much honorable uh, chair uh, madam md in your statement this morning you've said you've not been involved in the sale of subsidized fertilizer from the beginning up to today. Is the statement correct? Thank you. And um, lastly from members, uh, Senator Amadova. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, um, in addition to my last uh, two questions, uh, this as an indirect relationship with the fertilizer, and that is the animal feed. Because from the fertilizer, we grow animal feed. What are you also doing in that sector? Because um, the quality of animal feed also in this country uh, is a problem. It doesn't contain what the packaging materials purport to contain. What plans uh, do you have as caps to make sure that the standards are maintained? And what, what plans do you have to maintain your only dye asset, and that is the CAPS diamond mark of quality? Because as a Kenyan, when I buy a product and I see the CAPS certification, I go home convinced that I have the right product. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you. So uh, let me also make a few remarks so that then the MD can respond to everything. <coughs> Madam M um, MD, the, the products that you, you have declared are not fertilizer, you trace them to a government institution that was distributing those products. Which institution was that? Why did you find these products? Those products belonged to SBL. Some of them belonged to Kel, though Kel, you, you found them in their own premises. And there was Mavuno. And the, the common thread there is NCPBD. It's a common thread. Everything seems to just go to NCPB. Would you say, as, as cabs, then that this government institution was used or allowed itself to be used by people to do two things. One, to bypass quality assurance tests and secondly, to distribute for purposes for which this institution was not set. Secondly, your legal counsel, a company secretary, made mention to a directive, that they have a directive that they cannot sue any government agency. So if a government agency is involved in practices that threaten the lives of the Kenyan people, so cabs can't touch. Um, whose directive was it? And is it in writing? Can that directive be given uh, to us so we can challenge it? And lastly, Maybe second last. A red flag has been raised through this government subsidy uh, program on the supply of fertilizers. A red flag has been raised. The CABS has confirmed that, in fact, the products that farmers have been complaining about are not standard products. As CABS taken it upon itself and moved on its own motion to test every other fertilizer in the market and just be sure that if, if fertilizer that is being sold through a government institution is fake, how more fake would fertilizers that are in the free market. Lastly, because you are here, you have an opportunity to make a request to Parliament in the Senate. What intervention, what legislative intervention would CABS want from this institution to make you function better. Because clearly, there is, there is a missing gap. CABS is an important institution, plays an important role, but it appears like anybody can just bypass CABS and, and nothing happens. What intervention would you want from this parliament to make CABS a lot more uh, responsive but to the people of this country. Uh, over to you, Madam MD. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, um, Chair and Honorable Members. Um, I will respond to the questions. I also note uh, some of the things raised were comments. Uh, the question by Senator Mandago. 
uh, is about our regional offices. Yes, we have regional offices. We actually have six regional offices. And the reason why we have these offices is to bring the services closer to our customers or to Kenyans and to be able to offer them services near them. So in these offices, we have uh, officers who um, either quality assurance officers, we also have market surveillance officers. But as I stated earlier, the number of market surveillance officers are few. And um, therefore, what we do during market surveillance is um, basically risk-based. So we identify the products which are high risk, and that is what we target. Um, you specifically asked about a question on a particular manufacturer within that region. I would um, really not be able to respond immediately on, on um, um, whether we have tested the fertilizer in that particular factory, because I don't have the information with me right now, but I would be glad to bring back any, any information that, that might be required by this uh, honorable committee. Um, then there was a question on uh, what, um, what we plan to do Um, what, um, what we plan to do to make sure that uh, we are maintaining the integrity of our marks of quality and uh, honorable uh, members, one of the things that we have, um, we have, we have, we have uh, done is that uh, since the, the responsibility of guaranteeing continuous production and use of the mark is lies squarely on the manufacturer and they sign a, a scheme of certification which they guarantee that they will continually make sure that as they use our mark, the product they are producing are meeting the Kenyan standard. So what we are doing is that when we find, we take the manufacturer or the industry players responsible for that and therefore we get a product like now for the for, for example this particular fertilizer they are producing product and putting our mark on a product which they very well know it is substandard we take them through the process of um, prosecution we do not have prosecutors within ourselves so we have to go through the office of the Dep of the director of public prosecution to prosecute these matters and um, on that same basis uh, chair you asked on the request I would want to make to this committee. We have been uh, uh, trying to review our Standards Act. The Standard Act is, um, is in such a way that the penalties, one of the reasons why we have been trying to review the, the Act is because the penalties that are, are prescribed in the Act for manufacturers who have gone against the law or who have gone against the Act produce substandard product. The penalties are so low that manufacturers do not feel the pain when we take them through the process of prosecution. They are supposed to be fined, I think, um, a, a million shillings and, and, or a fine not exceeding one year. That is so minimal given the magnitude of what they are doing. So one of the things that I would request this uh, committee and Senate to assist, Kenya Bureau of Standards, is to, to assist us with the, with the approval of our bill, uh, the standards bill, so that we can review and make sure that every manufacturer is held responsible for what they are doing, so that they don't deceive Kenyans with the products that they are supplying them in the name of using the mark from Kenya Bureau of Standards. And they very well know that the products they are producing, either they have changed the formulation or they have done something within their factory to produce a different product. So that is one of the things that, um, uh, one of my major requests I would do to this committee. Um, uh, Chair, you have asked uh, which institution uh, were the, these products being um, we found. Uh, we, when, uh, 
when this issue of subsidy uh, complaints started coming from the farmers, that is when Kenya Bureau of Standards got information that actually this, uh, this, this subsidy fertilizer in the country, and we found these products in NCPB. Those are the warehouses or depots where the products was being supplied. We have not seen the subsidy fertilizer being supplied through any other uh, distribution outlets. So those are, that is the only institution we are aware of. Uh, Uh, then you have asked uh, whether we would say that KEBS whether the institution um, uh, bypassed the QA test to distribute uncertified products, chair with the evidence that we have, and um, especially so the one for SBL Innovate, that product was not certified by KEBS. I can assure, I can tell you, it was not certified by KEBS since 2022. And they were using that particular means of distribution because they knew it is not the normal market where we would find these products. Those products were not certified, and the institution that was responsible for the distribution never came to KEBS to even verify the documents which were supplied to them. Are they even um, authentic documents? So we cannot, we, we are not able to tell why. And this is not a normal. We go to agrovets when we are doing uh, surveillances. We go to agrovets. The recent surveillance we did for NPK, uh, diammonia phosphate, and MAP, we went to agrovets and picked samples and we did testing. And that answers the question on whether we have gone ahead and checked other fertilizers, uh, uh, um, not just what is in the government uh, subsidy program. Yes, we have checked. And um, others are still ongoing. Uh, noting that uh, this issue of, um, of this uh, fake product came about in March, so we are continuing to do the surveillance, but the surveillance we had done earlier on fertilizer, we had checked the ones which are found in agrovets and which are accessible by farmers direct, not through the distribution outlet uh, that this particular product has been going through. So that answers the question on the red flag after it was raised. Yes, we have gone ahead and done the test. Then um, uh, my company secretary had mentioned an issue of uh, the directive not to sue other government agencies. I just want to make a clarification that this was an issue where there has been cases, not just uh, the issue of suing because of something like this, but cases where different um, state corporations have been taking each other to court and therefore we have prolonged court battles. And um, the directive was that we need to be discussing and resolving these matters. But on the issue of um, our accessibility, uh, our accessing NCPB, uh, when we wrote to them, they complied and they gave us the document that we were requesting and the data. Later when we, we wanted to know which other fertilizers are in the subsidy, we wrote to them and they responded and gave, they gave us details. When we sent the letter to tell them to, to recall the product from Kel Chemicals and to stop distribution, they wrote back to us and gave us the information on what, uh, on the quantities that they were holding within their, their, their facilities. So I don't see a situation where we would have been uh, pushed into going into a litigation or any uh, or something like that with, with the agency involved. Only that, madam, and I don't want to open up this discussion again. Only that, you, you would definitely, or maybe you actually have already taken some manufacturers to court on account of manufacturing and falsifying documents and supplying substandard products in the market. And that supply chain involves NCPB. They are the sole distributors of those products. I don't see how then you will not sue NCPB. So somebody will argue that I was asked to supply this and it is what I supplied, then what will you tell the courts that you cannot bring the distributor to court? For what reason? Yes, yes. Yeah, I, I think he didn't answer my question. If you want, uh, I can still uh, repeat that question. Uh, yeah, I wanted to ask the MD, 
in her testimony, she said that uh, she's not been involved in the uh, fertilizer subsidy that was being handled by NCPB. So can you please confirm that you've not been involved? Oh, um, my apologies. Uh, uh, I did not answer that question. Uh, yes, I want to confirm that Kenya Bureau of Standards was not involved in the entire process of procurement, the entire process of tendering, the entire process of testing the quality of what was in the subsidy program. We were not involved. And uh, on, on, on the question, uh, we, yes, our Standards Act, the Standards Act um, allows us uh, or has given us the powers to prosecute any manufacturer who is involved in producing substandard product, and that's what we have done. But in the process of investigations, because the investigations are being done by DCI, in the process of investigation, the issue of the distributor are likely to come up. And of course, if um, NCPB are enjoined, then the process will continue. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, members, with your permission, we should now uh, bring this to an end. Um, and as you do that, um, Madam MD, I, I want to just give one directive to CAPS. There are fertilizers that you have tested, but the results are not out. This committee will expect you to furnish us with the results of those tests within seven days, so that we know beyond what we have flagged what, what are the standard issues with the other fertilizers in the market. So in seven days, uh, please uh, bring those results. Secondly, on the issue of the, the, the review of the Standards Act, this committee will be, will be happy to look at what legislative proposals you have um, and walk the journey with you because our interest is to take care of our people. That's what our interest is. And so engage our, our secretariat. Let us know how far you've gone. Let's see what, what it is that we can do uh, together to help you do your job better. Having said that, um, I want to take this opportunity to thank you for appearing and um, because the other people have listened to you responding from the odd seat, I would request that you sit there and listen to them also responding from their odd seats uh, because we'll be, as the chair said, I think the committee has been generous enough, we'll be having a lunch at the end of this conversation. Members, if you allow me, we can move to the, the next uh, Kel Chemical.